If you're watching this, you should already know how to solve the pure morphic with the advanced method. If not, you should go learn that right now. But now, I'm going to teach you how to do center permutation much more efficiently than what I showed you in some of my previous tutorials. Let's get into it. First, let's talk about the 2-2 swap. 2-2 swap is a really good algorithm I showed you. If you're holding it in front and on the right, you can do this, which can be done in under a second if performed great. Um, and that's a really nice hug. Now, here's how you can make it better. When you have um, it in different orientations, you can become orientation neutral really easily. So here's how to do it orientation neutral. You're gonna recognize it based on your front color. If the center on your front face belongs on the right, well, then you do the algorithm you already know. But if it belongs on the bottom, here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna start your cycle in the back from here, and you're gonna go up, down, and back. Then you're gonna regrip and do your front move twice. And that will cycle this. So again, this and this. Oh wait, sorry. Uh, if you're doing this and this, that will solve it. The only other orientation you can have is when your front goes to the left, what you're gonna do this is you're also gonna hold it from the back. Instead of going up, you're just gonna go front like this. So you're gonna go to the front, up and back, re up into your front move. So, again, this, you do, and that will solve it. And that's how you become orientation neutral on the 2-2 swap. Next, you need to get yourself some better 4 swaps. So, on your 4 swaps, you already know this case, where front goes to bottom and right goes to front. And that's where you do this. And you're going to keep using that, but you're going to become a little bit more orientation neutral. Where you have, if your front center goes to the bottom, that's all you need to know. You don't need to pay attention over here, which can save a lot of recognition. Well, you do need to pay attention to it, but it doesn't, you don't want to rotate. For example, in this case, which is the only other case, if it's your left side that goes over here, when your front goes down, you're going to do this. You're going to move right side down and push back like this. You're going to do a U, bring it back and push up like that. And that should do it. So, again, if your front goes to bottom, your left goes to front, you're going to do this. And that should save some time when doing your four swaps. Next, you need a better way of doing your U-perm, or your three cycle. So, I'm gonna show you better ways to do both clockwise and counterclockwise, and this is mostly just combining the other four swap I taught you, that way you can do it better. So, in this case, when you are going clockwise, I recognize this just by seeing that this needs to go to the left, you're going to do this. In your normal one, except you're doing a U prime, from now on you're always going to do U prime as your per center permutation um, for this, for your U perms, um, and you're going to undo that. So, to start, when it's going this way, you do. And then, um, I go into um, the other one we know, and then you're going to do normal U. And that will get it done. So, if you have it going this way, you do this. U prime, U. Now for the other U perm. If your U perm is going the other way, this goes to here, you're going to do it in the other order. You start by going like this with your other force up. Remember, you're always doing a U prime, and you undo it. Then you go up like this into your normal four swap. So that's both your U perms. I'm gonna go over them one more time. So again, when your front goes to the right, you're gonna do this. Which you're gonna finish really nicely. When you're doing front goes to left or clockwise, then which can also be done really nicely. Next, I would recommend getting a little bit of orientation neutrality on your U-perms. You're not fully yet though. This is where if your front um, face, or the face that's solved is actually in front instead of on bottom, and you don't want to put it on bottom, you can just do the algorithm here instead. I recognize by seeing which way this side needs to go. If it needs to go this way, well, 
that's from here, it's clockwise in reality, it's counterclockwise. But anyway, if this side goes to here, you're going to start with a sledge. You're going to do a sexy move, except you're going to cancel by not doing the last part of the sexy move. And you're doing a sledge from this angle, which you can just do like that. That may look complicated, but it's actually really good. Sledge, beginning to sexy, sledge from different angles. So here it is again. Sledge, sexy, cancel. So here's what that looks like. Okay, now I'm going to teach you the different one. If this side goes to the bottom, then you have the different one. And I do this, I played around doing left-handed, but I like to just do inverse. So what that looks like is... And that should solve it. So again, if you have this case, when this goes down here, then you want to do... And that isn't quite as good as the first one, but it can still be done pretty fast. Remember, we're getting into harder and harder stuff in the video, so feel free to just leave and come back when you feel like you're ready. Some of this stuff I just learned recently, and the last thing I'm going to teach, I still don't use in my solves. Next is orientation neutrality for four swaps. This can be recognized into six cases. First, you're going to look at where your front color goes. It can either go on the bottom, on the right, or on the left. You already know both the cases where it goes on the bottom, so now we're down to just four cases left. So, I'm going to start with where front goes to the right. If front goes on the right, there are two cases from there. The front color could either be on bottom, or it could be on left. This case is from the bottom, so that's what I'm going to show you first. When your front color is on the bottom, it goes here and here like this. You're going to do your normal first four swap algorithm I taught you, except with a U prime instead of a U. And that will solve it. So, if you go bottom to front to front to right, similar to that case is where your front color goes on the left and your bottom color goes on front. So instead of going doom doom, it's going doom doom. Now this is kind of similar. You're doing your second force off algorithm you learned, where you do this, except you're doing a U prime instead of a U. And then you can undo it. So again, if you have this case where front goes to well, bottom goes to front and front goes left, you do this. The next two cases I think of as top cases because um, you don't recognize with the bottom layer. This is where front side either goes on the left or the right, and um, it comes from the left or right. This first case is where front goes on right, and it's getting it from the left. So I think of it as the direction that you read in, from left to right. Now, this one is going to be our first new kind of alg. It's where you do a B, and you pull down like this. Kind of like what you do in your two-swap alg. Then you're going to do a U, and undo. So again, when you have going from here to here to here, you do this. And then similarly, our last four swap orientation is where it's going the other way. This is the worst case for me because it's hard to finger trick, but you do the same thing except you do U prime instead of U. And then you can undo that. So that is all of the orientations you can have four swaps in. And this is as far as I actually go and solves with this. Um, and it helps me to do my four swaps faster because I never have to key rotate. There's one more thing I'm going to show you, but I do not use this in my solves yet. This is the last thing I'm going to show in this video. This is really advanced. I don't even use this yet, but I plan to start implementing it soon. And that is orientation neutral to swaps. Once you do this, you'll be full, fully orientation neutral for CP. There are six cases. You already know the one where it's in the back. Like that. This is a quite unique alg, but it is where it's on the front and the left. 
when it's on the front and the left, you can do sledge b sexy. So again, sledge b sexy. We'll swap these two over here. I still have to work with finger tricks on this. Next, I'm going to show you front and right. To swap the front and the right, I actually don't use a unique AUG anymore because I feel like lefty AUGs are, are inherently worse. So here is how I do front and right when I decide to do this. I actually do this, the bottom and front two swap, the two two swap, where you go from the back and you go up like this. And when you're doing your front move to finish it off, you're gonna go up, you're gonna do a U prime, and then you're gonna finish it. So again, it's gonna look like this. And that's how you'll get your front and right swap. Now we're going to start on cases that involve the bottom. This one, where it's on the left and on bottom, you can do pretty similar to the last one I showed you. Um, and that is just going to be where you start in back and you cycle it this way. You go to your, do your front move, and it's exactly the same, except you're going to do a U instead of a U prime. And when you finish it, you'll swap these two. So, no, not that way, this way. But I'll swap these two. If you want to do it when it's on the front and on the bottom, like this two swap, then you do this. It's going to be similar to your first one, where you start in front and you cycle it this way. And when you do your back move, you're going to bring it down. The only difference here is you're going the other way. And that will cycle. Oh, and keep going that way. And you're going to cycle, well, not cycle, swap these two. So. We'll swap those two. And the last one is right here. So. That is on the right and on the bottom. You're going to do this. Start off like you would normally. And in the middle of your back move, go down, do a U, and bring it back up. And then continue your normal one. And that will swap those two right there. And it works out nicely. That's as advanced as CP can get for now.